But thank you. The former town administrator for Grand Chute was let go by the town board last year, taking the witness stand today in the trial for Supervisor Ron Wolf. As we've reported, Wolf was the focus of a Department of Justice investigation launched nearly three years ago, which led to a felony charge of having a private interest in a public contract. In a first alert update, Samantha Cavalli joins us live from the Outagamie County Courthouse with details on what was testified to in court today. Samantha. Right, Cammie and Bill, former town administrator Jim March taking this witness stand today, uh, called up by the defense after the prosecution rested its case earlier this morning, just a little bit before the lunch break. But we're also told that he testified to the jury that he knew that Ron Wolf owned land, Lake Shore excuse me, Lakeshore Cleaners at the time that he bid on the project to seed Champion Pond. Now, Previous court documents allege that Wolf bid on the project roughly one month after taking office in 2021 and eventually paid more than $26,000 for the seating of Champion Pond. This trial focused on whether Supervisor Ron Wolf knew if it was a conflict of interest to bid on projects for his business that would be that would go before the town board. March told the jury today he was aware of a potential conflict and urged town employees and Wolf to seek additional legal advice. Other witnesses, including current town board members and former employees, also testified that March was concerned about the conflict. Here's how March described the conversation he had with Supervisor Wolf warning him about the conflict of interest. I had a conversation with Supervisor Wolf after this contract was awarded, um, similar to a previous conversation I had with Supervisor Wolf, where I told him um, he can't bid on town projects. And I said to him, that I didn't want to see, I asked him, please don't continue to bid on town projects. It causes a problem, it causes complexities, it doesn't have good optics. Now we expect tomorrow morning that Supervisor Wolf will take the stand in his own defense. He'll testify. Now, if he is convicted and found guilty, he will face up to three and a half years in jail, plus pay a $10,000 fine. Reporting live in Appleton, Samantha Cavalli, Action 2 News.